Trucks move two-thirds of the nation's freight, but a parking problem is having a costly impact on supply chains, driver health, and highway safety. I'm T. Chappelle. And I'm Lee Zurich. According to the American Trucking Associations, nearly every driver says they regularly have issues finding a safe parking spot. And shortages exist across the country, forcing a majority of drivers to break federal rules that require rest. The ATA says truck drivers typically spend 56 minutes of valuable drive time a day looking for available parking. And that time costs the average driver about $5,500 in lost annual compensation or a 12% pay cut. When a designated truck spot isn't available, some drivers park on the shoulder of ramps and highways. And while the risks are known, finding a solution may not be as clear. Investigative reporter Susan L. Corey has an in-depth look at how the rules vary by state and what's being done to curb the problem. When the sun sets, there's a shift in speed on interstates. It's a disaster. As truck drivers race to find parking. There's no telling if there's going to be parking available. Without enough spots, they're making their own on ramps. Some stopping where signs clearly say they can't. I mean, it's really dangerous. Others creating lines so long, they extend onto the highway. But there is no parking. But stopping here can be risky. Number one, where's your emergency? A Greyhound bus just lost the wheel and went right into my trailer. July 12th, 2023. Okay. We have a lot of a Greyhound bus went off the road at the I-70 Silver Lake rest stop in Highland, Illinois. There are very many people in the vehicle that are injured. Some got out, some are still getting out. Colliding with semis parked along the shoulder. Some can't get out of their trap. 14 people were injured. That is bad. It's bad. Three died. I woke up, slide through the aisle. I seen a body hanging out the window. While the danger is clear, parking problems aren't slowing down. The latest numbers from the federal government estimates in 2020, there were 30,000 crashes involving trucks on the shoulder or roadside. Of those, 457 were deadly. We hit the road to see how often it's happening in the St. Louis region. We spent hours on the interstate from nightfall to early morning. It didn't take long to see dozens of trucks forming lines on ramps. It was off the road enough to take a break here. And stopping where they know it's illegal. Just wanted to know about why you stopped on the shoulder. Oh, it's all right. I seen other trucks, so that usually means there ain't no part of the rest of it. Drivers we asked don't see an easy solution. No matter where you go, you're fighting for parking. Terry McFadden has spent 10 years traveling across the country. I mean, I got here and I had to play the make your own parking game. Fortunately, I stayed up until this spot cleared out. Federal law requires truckers to take breaks. Starting in 2017, big rigs had to install electronic logs, which sends their time directly to the U.S. Department of Transportation. You're out of hours. It's either take the guaranteed spot back on the ramp or roll through, find that there isn't any parking, and then how far do you gotta go to find parking again? State laws on parking vary. In Illinois, it's illegal to park overnight on highway shoulders, but in other states, it's legal, including in Missouri. As long as you're off of the main traveled portion of the roadway, you can stop on the shoulder of the roadway. Corporal Dallas Thompson with Missouri State Highway Patrol says they're seeing more trucks on the road and with it more making their own parking spots. Is it a safety concern? Well, absolutely. We're always worried about the safety aspect of it, but as long as they're staying in compliance with the law, there's not a whole lot we can do to uh, change anything right now. Parking is so scarce. The trucking industry estimates there's one spot for every 11 truckers. Illinois Congressman Mike Bost thinks he has the solution. It's vitally important that we do move this bill. He proposed a bipartisan bill to dedicate $755 million for states to expand rest stops or build new ones. If your bill does pass, how long would it take to get enough spots? Oh, my goodness. Well, we're, we get it passed. We're still talking... 15 years. What do we do for safety in the time being? Yeah, it's, it's up to the individual drivers to try to be as safe as they possibly can. Try to work with law enforcement. It is urgent, but 
trying to wake the people up to it and get this bill across the finish line. Uh, you know, there's other things that are pending here and other people are focusing on other things, but we can do both chew gum and walk and we should be able to move this. Our cameras captured this months later in the same area as the I-70 rest stop where the deadly Greyhound crash happened. Semis cover both sides of the ramp and back onto the highway. I personally don't park on ramps, on and off ramps ever, but I understand why guys do. What's he supposed to do? What else can he do? We looked into how often enforcement is happening in Illinois, where parking on the shoulders of ramps and highways is illegal. In the first six months of 2023, state police issued a combined 21 citations and warnings. We asked the state police director about this. His office said they will not comment while the Greyhound bus crash is under investigation. A spokesperson did tell us their system makes it difficult to track enforcement, which is why they gave us limited data. Still, some say writing tickets is not the solution because truck drivers pick between illegally parking or breaking the law by staying on the road when they're supposed to be resting. You want to be safe, but we have two laws that, that, that are clashing right now, which I, I think makes it worse. We did talk to some truck drivers who say the companies they work for are creating their own rules. They're being told to cut their day short to ensure they find a safe spot. In St. Louis, I'm Susan L. Corey.